Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to Connect Your Technical Insight. I am Rahul Randeria. I will be the host for today's show. Today, we would be discussing regarding the setups, technical trends, and patterns on indices, means Nifty, Bank Nifty, as well as individual stocks for long-term investors. Last week, we have discussed that Nifty might face some sort of resistance near its psychological mark, which is thirteen thousand, and if, if it breaks, then it might test the level of thirteen thousand one hundred and thirteen. Definitely. Uh, last week, uh, uh, Nifty tested the level of thirteen thousand one hundred and forty-five, and from there, we have seen an intraday sell-off uh, uh, on Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday, and then Nifty tried to settle down. So definitely, some sort of exhaustion is seen on the indices. So uh, RSI also going into overbought territory. Momentum indicators are signaling some sort of weakness at these levels. Uh, the momentum is not. Getting carried away. Uh, I mean to say, forward of buying up is also not seen in the on the indices. So definitely at these levels, some sort of explosion is seen. Now uh, for Nifty, if we see, as we can as we will see on the charts, the Nifty on the weekly charts it has formed a high wave candle. As you can see on the charts, it is a red uh, circle. There is a green high wave candle where Nifty opened at particular level. It went down. It again it went up and again closed near that. Just near the open area, so that is a high wave candle, which is just in technical terms it is called as an indecisive candle, where the direction was not clear, but definitely the exhaustion was uh, was clearly seen. On the RSI front, on the weekly uh, charts, again as you can see, the RSI is into overbought territory, so this is the reason why we have seen the exhaustion on the Nifty. Now uh, the crucial support for the next week in the Nifty is twelve thousand eight hundred and thirty three. If it breaks, the next support is coming around twelve thousand seven hundred and thirty. While on the upside, the major resistance in the Nifty are placed at thirteen thousand thirty-five. If it breaks, then the all-time high, which was marked in uh, last week, which is thirteen thousand one hundred and forty-five. Now, one more uh, one more important uh, uh, thing I would like to uh, highlight that next week is a truncated week. Monday is a trading holiday because of uh, Guru Nanak Jayanti. So we might see highly volatile week uh, in the next week from when uh, from Tuesday to Friday. So at higher levels, traders are requested to trade with strict stop losses because we might see wide swings because of the truncated week. Now, the most important thing, what we in the last eight to uh, eighteen to twenty days, what we have seen the FIF have pumped pumped in uh, almost around fifty six thousand crores into Indian equities, and also in the global equities. Uh, the uh, the FIs or global inflows ha- are at the highest time uh, at are at all time high of the last four five years. So definitely in the recent past FIs have pumped in most of the money into the equities, specifically into emerging markets. Now uh, we are uh, we have a monthly expiry. Now we have entered into December expiry. We are, everybody knows that in December FIs try uh, tend to go slow. Because from 10 to 15 December, FIs might go to the holiday because of uh, Christmas, uh, because of the Christmas at the month end. So we might see the flow FIs flow slowly and gradually uh, turning slow, and we might see some sort of profit booking at the higher levels. So at these levels, one need to be very cautious. Yes, there might be stock specific action where we might get trading opportunities that can be done accordingly. Now on the bank Nifty front. Uh, again, on the bank Nifty, also on the weekly charts, what we have seen that uh, on the weekly charts, also after a sharp rally in the last couple of five to seven uh, weeks, bank Nifty has also formed a high wave candle, as you can see on the charts in the in the red circle, where the high wave candle was just placed near its uh, previous uh, uh, pain area, what we call a sell off area, which was marked in April. You can clearly see. The uh, the sharp sell off candles, red candles, uh, for, uh, exactly at those areas, uh, Bank Nifty has performed a high wave candle, and some sort of exhaustion was also seen. Again on the RSI up front, also Bank Nifty has entered into overbought territory on the weekly charts, and that is the reason why we have seen some sort of exhaustion or profit booking in the particular stocks as well as Bank Nifty. Uh, again, Bank Nifty uh, might see volatile trading session from uh, uh, Tuesday to Friday. Because we have a truncated week, so traders are requested to trade with fixed stop losses, and and try to be able to put in trading positions. 
Now the important support in the Bank Nifty are placed at twenty eight thousand nine hundred and twenty three. If it breaks, the next the next crucial support is coming around uh, twenty eight thousand five hundred and eighty. On the upside, the major resistance which are placed in the Bank Nifty are thirty thousand. If it crosses those levels, the next resistance is coming coming around thirty thousand five hundred and thirty. But looking at the current chart, I feel that uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty might see some sort of profit booking at the higher levels. So one need to be cautious at current at, at this juncture. Now, uh, from a technical setup, I would like to just discuss regarding the derivative setup, where uh, the most of the position has been built in the option front or the option segment. In Nifty, the strong position uh, where uh, we have seen was built in thirteen thousand calls. On the upside, as you can see on the screen, then thirteen thousand one hundred call, then thirteen thousand two hundred two hundred call. You can clearly see on the screen where there is after LTP there is a column which is not uh, which is mentioned as change. You can clearly see a strong writing has been seen at the higher levels. Clearly indicates that upside is kept for the next week as the next week is also truncated week. Most of the call writing has been seen at the higher levels. So most probably I will uh, say that thirty thirteen thousand one hundred and thirteen thousand two hundred might act as a stiff resistance on the upside, as uh, the call writing has been seen on the on the uh, derivative front on the option front. Now on the put side, what we have seen that the major strong position uh, and in the strike price where the put has uh, in the uh, in the Nifty put are built around. You can see on the screen are thirteen thousand put then. Uh, twelve thousand nine hundred put, and again twelve thousand seven hundred put. So definitely for the next week, the major range in the Nifty is coming around thirteen thousand one hundred on the upside, and max to max on the downside, uh, the crucial support is coming around twelve thousand seven hundred. So thirteen thousand one hundred and twelve thousand seven hundred would be the range in the Nifty, and the strategy would be sell on rise or book profit wherever you get. Now with the Bank Nifty, the strong position where uh, we have seen. Where the uh, where built on the Bank Nifty calls are on the upside thirty thousand and thirty thousand five hundred. You can clearly see on the screen again in the uh, uh, change front uh, there we have, we can clearly see that there has been writing on the upside. I mean to say thirty thousand calls and thirty thousand five hundred calls. So definitely in Bank Nifty also I see uh, because. Uh, Uh, because of this writing and uh, high wave candle, I feel that we might see selling pressure or profit booking in that nifty also. So try to be cautious and trade with strict stop losses. On the downside, the major position in the puts in that nifty are built at twenty nine thousand five hundred, as you can see on the screen, twenty nine thousand and twenty eight thousand five hundred. So in that nifty, there is a very broad range for next week, which is uh, thirty thousand and thirty thousand five hundred on the upside. Uh, on the downside, which is coming around twenty nine thousand and twenty eight thousand five hundred. So these were the uh, crucial levels uh, in Nifty, Bank Nifty, as support and resistance, and uh, in derivative fronts and calls and puts. What we have seen. So try to be cautious, be nimble footed, and try to trade with strict stop losses. Now for the final segment for the day are the long term investment calls. I have identified two stocks which are looking good for long term investments. The first stock is look, uh, which is looking uh, good for long term investment, is from the media segment, which is Z Entertainment. On the daily charts, Z has been moving in an upward rising channel, making higher tops, higher bottom. Yes, you can clearly see on the screen. But the RSI is also showing a strong positive divergence. Where when prices were making lower tops, RSI was making higher tops. From uh, May, from March to uh, till the current date. Currently, the setup is the price are. Just below, just above the support line, the volumes are also coming at near the support line at these levels. So definitely, Z is looking good for long-term investment. The upside potential target for long-term investment, which is coming uh, uh, around 230, which is the major resistance area, but according to the channel resistance, it is coming around 240 to 245. So definitely, at these levels, Z is looking good for long-term investment. Uh, long term investors swing traders can buy z uh, from current levels for the target of for short to medium term target of maybe 220 230 and long term target 240 to 250 now the final call uh, in the long term investment is 
the stock is for the metal sector uh, which is jsw steel yes on the daily charts you can see the stock has clearly formed an inverse head and shoulder uh, which was uh, which has started making from june june 2020 20 till current date stock has formed an inverse head and shoulder currently it has seen a breakout from the right shoulder the volumes are also coming in the last week we have seen a sharp spike so definitely from current levels if there is some sort of profit booking or some weakness that should be used as a buying opportunity in jsw steel on the upside the long term target is coming around uh, 427 which is uh, it's a lifetime high and if we break those levels then the stock has potential to test the levels of 500 in the long term long term so definitely long term investors or swing traders uh, can buy jsw steel on any correction from the current levels so thank you very very much uh, for watching the show for any suggestion you can give in the comment box again i would like to say next week is a truncated week try to be nimble footed trade with stick stop losses thank you very much uh, and have a nice trading week thank you